Our greatest personal challenge can be our biggest opportunity for growth and defining who we are, what we're made of. Silvio Kraminska shares her big opportunity as Scotiabank's first woman executive vice president and here provides her advice on defining your own leadership brand. The, the challenge that has, has most um, defined me is also, I think, from a career point of view, um, probably quite pivotal or probably the, the most important thing that's happened to me in my career. And that was um, when I was appointed executive vice president um, in the bank because I was the first female executive. And that suddenly put me at the, at the senior executive table. And I, I, there, there was nowhere to go for um, advice and counsel. There were no other women in the bank who had that role. Um, I was quite intimidated by um, my colleagues and felt that they were looking for me to um, crash and burn. Um, rather than you know looking to support my success I, I certainly don't feel that way now but um, you know given you know insecurities and and sort of the fact that there were no other women um, that you know on the one hand is something I'm, I'm the most proud of on on the other hand um, it it has defined me because I think working through that at multiple levels have have made me um, the the individual that I am I'm, I, I'm not sure whether it's a value, but I, I tend to be a bit of a perfectionist and I, I, I tend to want to always deliver my best work and I expect the same of my people. In fact, I often ask them if, if something's not going particularly well, I'll ask them is there their best, is what I'm seeing their best work and that always gives them pause. So I always try to deliver my best work. I also, I, I'm, I'm brutally honest. Um, and I'm also um, very direct. Um, and what what I what I feel is, is that that I have high integrity and that um, I don't make promises that that I uh, don't deliver on. As as my role has changed and and you know as if I think about the kind of leader I was when I was in. Um, uh, corporate credit, um, it, w it was a small team and it was focused on, on um, large transactions and the bank was a different bank in those days and it was really just about um, working intensely hard to get the deal done and not really thinking a lot about how I was treating others or my communication style and then so when I, when I moved into HR and communications um, and HR people are notorious for giving feedback, lots of feedback. Um, so uh, if I was going to survive at all I had to respond to that feedback and, and change my communication style and, and become a much better listener. Um, I think um, a much better collaborator. So, so I, you know, I would think that I'm, you know, I, I'm, I believe I'm a good a good listener. Um, I focus hard on develop, developing my people, and I invest in them. I invest time in bringing them along. Um, that's important to me. Uh, I probably spend more time um, talking about them and how they're doing as opposed to what they're doing um, because they all are really capable of doing their jobs extremely well in spite of me. And um, so I'm, I, I'm a collaborative leader. I, I invest, I invest in, in my people. Um, I like to take risks and I encourage them to take risks and, and I'm supportive of the risks that um, they might be inclined to take in terms of the business and so forth. I think the most important um, thing that, that women should do is to take some chances and don't sell themselves short. I, I think you know, if I reflect on my own career and my own life, I, I was not long on self-confidence. Um, and I was uh, uh, forever second-guessing my own capability and um, was surprised when I get recognition or surprised when I, I got a promotion. Um, and, and never really came, you know, came to terms with my own strengths and weaknesses, um, perhaps soon enough. And I, I think, 
you know, I think women um, do themselves a disservice um, when they don't take chances and when they do sell themselves short and, and when they second guess their own uh, capabilities. I, I, I think that they um, have to find a way to somehow get beyond that. And, and, and I think having mentors or having sponsors can, can help women move, move through that or move beyond that. So I, you know, I think that's um, very, very important for women to, to try to do. If you're inspired and ready to advance your career, ask about our course designed around the lessons from Canada's top 25 Women of Influence.